What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry and today I want to talk to you guys about a game that has been highly requested over the last couple of days and that's a game called Intruder. Stealth multiplayer experience is being developed and published by Super Boss Games. Now I jumped in over on my Twitch channel here today as of recording this video just to see what this game was. I actually remember playing it a couple of years ago when it first hit Steam in 2019 and back then janky buggy mess. I wasn't quite sure what was going on. Today was a whole different experience. Now, this game is described as the ultimate spies versus guards simulator. Carefully sneak your way to objectives as intruders or use the wide variety of tactical gadgets to trap your opponents as guards. So it's this spies versus mercenary style gameplay that's a weird blend of like Metal Gear Solid style stealth with Rainbow Six level gadgets. It's actually a really interesting title. But one thing I will say right off the bat is it definitely shows its age with very janky character animations and a really weird and awkward spectator cam. But the game itself actually features a whole shit ton of content, different weapons and gadgets. Like you're able to like put like a, a camera on a stick, look around corners. There's like C4 explosives, motion sensors, shields, and all of this stuff that like I think should be in a game like a Rainbow Six. It's in this game. Now, granted, like I said, a little bit janky, but once you actually understand how the gameplay works and realize that the map design is actually one of the most intricate in terms of first person shooters that I think I played in, I can't even remember how long. It's very interesting how many different ways you can attack and defend on this game and it actually just kind of leaves it open to your team's creativity and how good you are on communications there's this one map we were playing where you have to have one person basically go down get the code to unlock the locker that gets you the sniper rifle the team i was playing on was definitely made up of people who know how to play this game i had one guy who was spotting for a sniper who was up on a cliff while everyone else tried to get in it was actually really insane when you looked at the setup and how people attacked and and basically held down this point there's a bunch of different objectives on the map in terms of like grabbing a briefcase and having to take it to an extraction and on that same map if you have somebody who can communicate a code to you if you're on the roof of one of the buildings you can unlock like a helicopter extraction so it opens up a third point for you to potentially take this briefcase to it's crazy how much is actually in this game and i guess the reason why everybody is talking about it now and asking me to cover it is because they're on sale for 50 percent off they just dropped a new update i know this might sound like a sponsored video but it's not there are some problems with the game the learning curve to get in and realize like what you have to do on the intruder side you don't actually have your objectives that pop up on the hud so you actually need a team of people who know how to play or who are willing to like learn and go through the trials and errors together it does not hold your hand at all and for the first like 40 minutes of me jumping in I was incredibly frustrated trying to figure it out but once I had a team that was willing to talk communicate and walk me through the basics show me where the objectives are show me how many different fucking ways you can attack on on different maps once you learn it all it becomes a lot more satisfying when you can pull off sick plays. I was playing with one person. I ended up spectating. He was our sniper. He walked us into a trap because he didn't actually see all the explosives that were laid out. And he was required to basically take out a team three on one and extract. And I'm going to put some clips here of that right now. Yeah, that's on me. I thought it was a good idea, but I just hotboxed this entire uh, floor. Yeah, no, it's fine. The room at the end of the hallway... Uh to the left of the bathroom, I think. There should be the briefcase right there. Yeah, you're gonna have to guide me. I don't know this area. Yeah, go forward and then the room to your right. Okay, grab him briefcase. Ah! Oh shit, it was explosives in there, fuck. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna get a better position. My bad, my bad, fellas. <laughs> okay, he's got the briefcase. This is, this is like, this is gonna be a tough extract. Man, this is a proper sneaky snake here. That's a lot more fun than I thought it would be.
This is amazing. He's going back in. Recovering. He's just built different. Recovering tactical banana. Amazing. So this guy knows this map inside out. <laughs> He's watching him on the fucking little cam and shit. Wow. Get away. It's actually nuts. So I guess this is the first time that they've ever done a sale. It's 50% off right now. They dropped a huge update, which now I guess brings a progression system into the game. I don't quite know what that progression system does. It looks like it might unlock like different crosshairs and stuff that you can just put on sites. But all of the sites and stuff you find in game. So you basically start off with like, let's say an SMG and you might have like a red dot site sitting in your spawn room in order to like utilize it moving forward in the rounds. But one of the weirdest and unique systems that this game has is the ability to ragdoll your character. So basically you have this thing called balance. And if you get shot and knocked down, your character loses balance, they ragdoll, and it looks like you're ragdolling laying down on the ground. And if, if the enemy team doesn't come and double tap you, you can like play dead and pop up behind them. So it actually makes it like securing kills is one of the most important things. I watched our sniper shoot this guy out on a balcony and when you're spectating, you can see everybody's health and stuff like that. And I saw he had 10 health left and he just played dead for like half the round. Once on the balcony. Good call out, I got him. That's amazing. <laughs> Moving further down the cliff. He didn't kill him though. All right, I gotta move down the cliff too. He's faking it. He didn't kill him. And another feature that's like one of my favorite ones in any FPS or multiplayer game, that's proximity chat. So you're able to pull up like a radio and only talk to your team. But when you're doing that, there's proximity chat and like you can actually like talk in proximity as well on a different key and the enemies can actually hear you. So there was like a couple of moments where I was talking shit to an enemy who was trying to like outside the door and he was trying to get in. I was trying to defend and we were just talking shit back and forth. The game actually is a lot of fun when you have the right people playing, people who understand what the objectives are, people who know the mechanics, who know how to utilize the gadgets. It makes you feel like a fucking special agent creeping around pistols with silencers trying to take out these armed guards that are holding, you know, nodes that you have to like walk around the map and like hack different computers. The, the gameplay at first, is very jarring and it's very hard for you to understand what's going on but if you can stick through it take like an hour of just like learning and trying to figure it out ask questions the games i had today on stream the community were so fucking helpful it was so much fun to play this is a really interesting tactical shooter that I don't think a lot of people are talking about for various reasons. Obviously, a lot of people are going to look at this. They're going to see the graphics. They're going to see the animations and say, fuck it. But if you own a PC, I, I, I actually have to recommend it, especially at 50% off. And again, this isn't sponsored. I'm not making any money from this. This is actually just a really solid tactical shooter that I want to showcase on the channel. After playing it today, I really want to throw this into the rotation and start playing with more people on on my Twitch channel. So if you guys do pick it up, you want to come through, sub over there and get some games in in the future. This game is a solid example of early access done right. When you look at their store page, it says that they anticipate that Intruder is going to be in early access for 12 to 24 months. It launched onto Steam March 1st, 2019. So we're actually coming up on that two year mark. I think it's going to require a little bit more time in the cooker, but what these guys have right now is definitely something special, it's unique, and the game is incredibly fun to play with a unit. If you guys want to check it out, I'm going to have a link down below. And if you guys want to come through and see more games being tested out on the Twitch channel, it's live Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern every single day. We've been putting in work over there trying to build up the community. So come through. That link is also going to be down in the description below. I appreciate y'all watching. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. My name is Big Fry, and we cover everything from multiplayer, FPS, third-person shooter, survival, anything early access, indie dev, AAA. As long as it's got guns, you can best believe we're going to be talking about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.